Right. Since it's now only two weeks until the big kickoff between Russia and Saudi Arabia, we thought it was about time that we stopped messing about and just stuck up a proper World Cup prediction video. I have consulted my wall chart long and hard. No, seriously, I actually went through and filled in every result for every match, so don't ever question my dedication to this channel. Anyhow, these were some of the significant outcomes. Here are my seven major World Cup predictions. Brazil to win. I already did a video in which I stated that Brazil were just very narrowly my favourite sport this summer's World Cup, and I gave my reasons for that conclusion there, so I won't gloss on it too much here. Brazil have always had talent, but national team boss Chiche has got the side playing tactically astute and highly effective football, which has made them one of the favourites in Russia. I've got them down to win their group before beating Mexico, Belgium, and Uruguay to secure their place in the final. Germany to reach the final. Defending World Cup champions Germany go into just about every major tournament as one of the three or four favourites, such as their exceptional tournament pedigree. They say a bad German side reaches the World Cup final, and a good one wins it. So my wall chart is calling this a bad German side, as I've got them losing 2-1 to Brazil in the final. I think Germany will win their group before potentially knocking out Serbia and England. That would set up a huge semi-final, most likely against either Spain or Argentina. I think it'll be a Spain vs Germany semi-final, and I just edge towards the Germans in that one. Uruguay to be the Dark Horses Every World Cup there is a Dark Horse, and this summer's could be Uruguay, if you trust me at all that is, and there's honestly no reason why you should. The bookies don't give Uruguay much of a chance, but they're certainly not a team I'd want to face. They shouldn't have to break a sweat to win Group A, where they'll meet Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and the host Russia. I'm backing them for three wins out of three before a last 16 tie with Portugal. That's a considerably trickier task, but I'd still just fancy Uruguay, who would most likely face France in a quarter-final. That would be a difficult match to call, but I think Uruguay could even sneak past France, before being sent packing by Brazil. The reasons for backing Uruguay? Well, they always have a dogged, determined, and resolute defence, which is the case once again this summer, and it's also one packed full of experience and with a good goalkeeper behind them. They have a really youthful and talented midfield, where I think Lucas Torreira and Rodrigo Bentanka will star, and then of course, they have Luis Suarez and Edinson Cavani up top. All in all, they're a dangerous outfit. England to reach the quarterfinals. This might not seem like that important of an inclusion, but since the majority of our views come from the UK, and England are the only UK team at the tournament, we thought we'd include it anyway. England really ought to get out of their group, and they'll most likely face Colombia or Poland if they do so. I think they'll win in the last 16 before a valiant, but ultimately unsuccessful quarterfinal exit against the Germans. Penalties anyone? Griezmann for the golden boot. Who will be the top scorer at the 2018 World Cup? It's a topic we could do a whole video on itself, but we'll try to be terse. The bookies make Lionel Messi their favourites, and he's actually a decent shout, but the trick tends to be finding a play with an easier group, and in a team likely to reach at least the quarterfinals. We'd look at Antoine Griezmann then, who ended the season well with Atletico Madrid, was the top scorer at Euro 2016, and is a dead certainty to start for France. With Denmark, Australia, and Peru their opponents in the group stages, Griezmann has the potential to get among the goals early on. Mbappe for best young player. If you wanted an outside bet for top scorer, Kylian Mbappe is a good shout at 33 to 1. We'd edge towards Griezmann, as there are no guarantees that Mbappe will start, and if he does, he will most likely be pushed out into a wider position. Despite that, we still think the 19-year-old will impress in Russia. His progress has been rapid over the last couple of years, and a starring role at a major tournament may just be the next step. His fellow countryman Usman Dembele, Brazil star Gabriel Jesus, and Uruguay's pivot Lucas Torreira could be in contention as well. Neymar for the Golden Ball The biggest accolade going at a World Cup awards ceremony is the Golden Ball, which is awarded to the player who is deemed to have put in the most impressive performances over the course of the tournament. Lionel Messi took the title in 2014, with many feeling it should have gone to James Rodriguez. Nine times out of ten though, the award is won by a player from a team who reaches the final, so immediately that narrows our lens. Since we think Brazil are highly likely to reach the final, we're backing their star man, Neymar, to take the title. 
Neymar was Brazil's best player in 2014, and they fell apart following his back injury. The country are no longer so reliant on the world's most expensive footballer, but he is still their standout player and has looked very sharp in the country's warm-up games. So that's it for the top 7. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.